How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. This is day two of the RPG a Day challenge. Today's word is unique. I could go with unique experiences, un unique GMs, unique players, unique characters, etc. But I want to go with unique mechanics. And if it sounds like this is a transparent attempt for me to shell certain games that have what I'd consider unique mechanics, that's because it partially is. I want to take this time to talk about non-dice dice rolls. Specifically, games that have the random chance element, but aren't necessarily using dice. And the first one that comes to mind, and I will be reviewing this in the coming months, or maybe early next year, depending on how things go, is the Saga system by TSR back in the days when TSR actually had some pull and wasn't, you know, dead. There are two games that use this system. Marvel Adventures, which is not quite as good as Marvel Phase Rip, but still unique in its own right. And my particular introduction to it, Dragonlance Fifth Age. I still have the box set for it. Now, Dragonlance Fifth Age had eight suits instead of four. But the thing about the Saga system is that your hand effectively acted as both your health and your level. I.e., the higher level you were, the bigger hand that you'd have. I find this system to be very ahead of its time. Mostly because you get a lot of narrativist games nowadays, but that was not exactly a thing in the early 90s when this came out. The idea was that you would play those you would play those cards as your equivalent to a dice roll but if you were playing a card of the same suit as the action that you would take each group of actions would be assigned a certain suit then that would be referred to as trump and you could play another card and of course then you draw up to your hand after you do the interesting x factor in this is that there's technically one extra suit or both cases. I don't remember what it was called for the Marvel version, but I do remember what it was called for the Dragonlance version, as that's the one I'm more familiar with. That was the Dragon Suit. The Dragon Suit could be considered the Fumble Suit. I.e., if you end up using this card and failing, something else is going to happen to make your day worse. I think the only problem that I had with this setup is having health be part of the hand as well because that me because that meant that it was very difficult to tank damage and it also means that certain play styles would be very much rendered less than favorable there's of course also the fact that because it's a tsr game and because of something else that tsr did this game would utilize a very skewed attitude towards anybody who wasn't a mage. I understand why this was a thing back in the day, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. See, there's some people that have this mindset that you need to run dice in order for it to be an RPG, i.e. skewing the whole diceless thing. And while I'm iffy on diceless games, I am very fascinated by the idea of using randomizers that aren't dice, per se, which led me to the idea of using cards. Saga System is a very good start, but I do think there's room for it to grow, and I'd like to see somebody make a fan game or something utilizing the system, but not utilizing the um, flaws that the Saga System has. I remember that there was one called El Hazred, but I cannot for the life of me find it. I know it exists. I've seen it. But I can't, for the life of me, find where the fuck it is. I can't even find an archive, or if I find an archive, it's broken. But at least the rule set has an open version that people can easily try out. Because of that whole thing about unorthodox systems, that also applies to symbol-based ones. I've seen a lot of people give an inordinate amount of shit to the FFG Star Wars games specifically and the Genesis system as a whole, Genesis spelled with a Y, mostly because of the symbol-based dice. 
I can't do that personally because I've played Fudge, which had plus and minus d6 dice. It's just that I don't think I don't think that there is a bad idea when it comes to that, just bad execution. Like I um as much as I enjoyed running 3rd edition with the RVT crew, I will ad I will admit that the way that game handled the symbol-based dice did leave much to be desired. And I think that the Genesis approach very much fixed it by adding a degree of parity to how it works. See, if there's one part of my mantra that is the take-home from this, it's that you should not rely on design as if it's gospel. You should certainly understand the rules before you break them, but that doesn't mean you should assume the rules are perfect. Or that you can't mess around with them if you want to. But that about does it for this one. I will see you all tomorrow for day three. Stay frosty.